Hey, hello, this is Luigi Vampa, Vampa's Minecraft server, and today I'll be doing a video about the Command Science plugin. Um, this is a handy little plugin that I found, it allows you to link commands to signs so that a player can just run up, right click the sign, and then it will go on and run the command from there. Uh, I wanted it specifically so that the players can change their ranks without me having to put the command in or uh, be online all the while. Now, as always, go to devbucket.org. Type command signs in the search bar and then pull it out of the search listings. There are command signs. I'm zoning the bone is the author of this one, and this fellow is on it. Uh, he's churning out bug fixes and um, new features faster than I can wind you bad. I've got kids, I've got wind you speed. Anyway, in the links on the right, command signs version 1.4. Uh, download the command signs jar and chuck it in the plugins folder in your server. Now there isn't a config file that gets generated with this one, um, but there is a signs.dat file which uh, is created, which I assume just stores all the signs that you make. Uh, once it's in there, run the server, and it will go and generate that file. Uh, whilst it's doing that, we have a look at the permissions for this. I'm using the permissions bucket plugin. Uh, there's um, command signs use and command signs create are the main ones. Uh, each one of those is a child node, regular and super. Regular is just for running commands that the player would have permission for. Now the super one allows you to let a player run a command that they wouldn't normally have a permission for. And then there's the command signs group so that you can um, assign this permission per the groups in your permission file and that will then go and only allow those players within those groups to use those certain signs. So it'd be quite handy, you could have a, a moderator toolkit sign in the spawn that the moderators can just run up, be allocated a load of gear and then nobody else in the spawn can use it. Um, yeah, so you've got command signs use regular, command signs use super, uh, command signs create regular, command signs create super. Uh, that's about it really for the permissions. Let me just check that, that's done. Now if we log into the server and go and have a look. Uh, these here are a bunch of signs I made earlier when I was mucking about testing it. Now to create a command, um, the prefix for this plugin is command signs. And then line zero. Right, line zero, you've got lines zero to nine. You can build up uh, a list of commands to allocate to the sign on the clipboard. And then once you've added all the commands to the clipboard, you right click the sign to then enable the sign with all those that are in the clipboard. But you don't have to add ten lines in there. Uh, for this, just to change the weather to sunny, would be command signs, line zero, and then forward slash and add the command you would put in the chat bar anyway. So there we are, ready to add, which means it's added it to the clipboard, and then I would then right click the sign to enable that. Yeah. We'll do the opposite of that. Command signs, line zero, change the weather to rainy. So now, the weather's not too bad outside. We'll click that. Oh, we don't have permission. Hmm. What happens when you move yourself from the office? Oh, Luigi Vampire. There we are. I can now change the weather on the server just by clicking the sign. Now that seems like a handy little function. You, um, if you were to allow players to use that you might want to charge them for it. So you can manage that within these command signs plugin. With command signs line zero. Now um, to add multiple lines to the clipboard allows you to add such things as a price and different permissions. You can put in a line of text to tell them what's happened as you've done it. To add a price would be command signs, 
um, line, whatever, and then add the dollar sign and the amount that you'd want to charge them for it. So now it's ready to add on the clipboard. Instead of right clicking to enable straight away, we'll add another line to the clipboard, which would be the actual command. And set the time to 11 o'clock. And then right click the sign uh, to pass what's on the clipboard. We'll create the opposite one again. Command signs, line zero. Charge them 100 quid for the luxury. And then on the next line, we'll actually add the command. I don't know what weather. Doing time, we'll make it 11 o'clock at night. So now, we'll click the sign and change it to night. And as I was saying, you can uh, charge them 100 quid for it. You just type money. Um, 9955022. So if I then click the day sign, that should subtract the £100 from there. And we'll just check the money. And there it is, it's now 922. I spent 100 quid making day. Now, um, as you saw earlier, when I wasn't on the op list, you can create a sign that you can run from the console. So it doesn't matter whether I'm on the op list or not, it will still just run uh, the command. So if I, if I go back to the server here, no, I won't do it yet. If I do the op myself now, I'll have to op myself just to create the sign. So it's command signs, line zero. Now, normally the command would be Op Luigi Vampa, but because I want to run it from the console, it's slash and then the hash key, and then Op Luigi Vampa, which again works quite fine because it's my test server and there's only me on it. But if you didn't know which player was going to click it, you can add in the variable name, and then that will just add the player's name as they click it. So now that anybody who comes up and hits this sign will be added to the op list. We'll do the opposite. Command signs line zero slash hash diop in the player's name. So now console hopping dioping. Now because I'm no longer on the op list I shouldn't have permission to change the time or the weather. Now back on the op list. Should make it day and quite sunny. All night and shit. Now as well as just adding um, the command and a price to it, you can also add a text line so you can tell them something relevant. Uh, with command signs, we'll add it to the first line of the clipboard. Use backslash and then write a line of text and this will then um, pass that text to the chat bar uh, when you right click the sign you have changed your game mode to we're doing creative and then we'll add the command in to line one Command would be game mode. Again, I'm using the name variable so that anybody who clicks it can have it uh, allocated to them. Because if I just put Luigi Vampa in there now, anybody who clicked the create sign would just come along and give me create. So we've added lines 0 and 1 to the clipboard, and then we right click the sign to pass that and assign it to the sign. So we right click it, and it gives me create. And as you can see there, it says your game mode has been changed. Um, oh, sorry, you have changed your game mode, or you game mode. If you want to uh, remove a sign, as you can see there, I've uh, made a spelling mistake here. It's command signs, remove, and then you right click the sign to disable the sign. Oops. Because as they are, um, 
while they're enabled with the command science plugin, they're uh, indestructible. So if I try destroying the day night signs as they are, uh, it won't let me. So you have to remove the link to the commands before you can actually remove the sign from the wall. So I'll go over that one again. Command signs, line zero, run the command game mode, name creative, and then we'll add a second line before adding that to the sign. Now backslash again for the text. You have had your game mode set to creative. And there we are, we have an enabled the sign. And we'll do the opposite. Command signs, line zero, game mode, add the name variable, and then game mode zero. And we'll add another text line using backslash. You have had your game mode set to. So what? Although I've missed a space, I'm not changing that again. And then, yeah, by right clicking the sides, I'm going to swap between game mode. Uh, swap between op and de op, and change night and day, and everything else. Now, the reason I wanted it originally was so I could change the player's user groups. And now, because I don't want to give them the ability to just run it from the console and have themselves as an op or whatever, you can add the function that when they run the command, they run it from the position of op. So they can change their permissions by clicking the sign. They will be in the op. Uh, they will run it as an op while they change it. But then once their command is finished, they are no longer in the op group. Which is quite handy. So, command signs. Line zero. Now, um, I'm actually sure what that character is called. Uh, to the power of maybe. But anyway, it's slash uh, the upwards angle bracket. And then we'll add the permissions bucket command for changing the player's group. And the basic one would be default. And then we'll right click that, add that to the sign. We'll add the other signs to user, right click. to the moderator group and then add them to the admin group as well so now by right clicking the signs I can change the user group that I'm in because I'm running as an op if I de-op myself the duration of running the command I'm running it as an op anyway so even though I've de-op myself I can run the commands that let me change my groups, but it wouldn't give me permission to run some of the other commands. Yeah, well, up myself. Here you go. And that is the command science plugin. Handy little tool. I like it a lot. Nice one zone to bone. Anyways, have a good day.